More and more often I find my time spent on the water occurs in short windows. Finding some time to fish between other obligations is becoming more the norm these days. When I do get those short opportunities though, I find they provide a great way to recharge and relax a bit. And it seems like the best days on the water are the ones that leave you wanting more. This day was one of those times. All right, so it's a really busy weekend for us this weekend. Uh, Emily, our sister, had her pinning ceremony for uh, physical therapy. She just graduated. Uh, we have a wedding today. My cousin Kate is getting married up around State College. And then tomorrow, uh, Emily's graduation. So we have really limited time this weekend, but we figured uh, we're going to try and make the most of it and get out for maybe an hour, two hours this morning. We're just around home. We're going to go fish for some brook trout and really try and make the most of the time. So you ready to go, Dan? Yep, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's get at it. That's a big brook trout. Holy cow. Woo! That was a good one. Man, how about that? Got a couple more here. Just hooked into another one here, another little brookie. Real pretty. Smaller than the last, for sure. Yeah, I just got a little, little lively legs hairs here on. It's been my go-to of late. And the brook trout love it. But honestly, I'll be completely honest, you can fish whatever for brook trout. Doug really likes to use a, uh, it's a big green weenie guy when it comes to brook trout. And it just seems like these brook trout, they kind of get in behind the waterfall and they just kind of stack in there. And we're catching a lot of fish. Almost on command at this point, it's unreal. I see a fish. That's the thing, they must just like rotate around this waterfall. I think they kind of school. Like these brook trout are like, like a bunch of bluegills chasing each other around in the pond. There's, oh man, I just missed one. I can see a school. There's one, there he is. Yeah, they're schooling. It's a nice little fish. Not as big as the one Doug just caught, I'll tell you that. But he's a healthy little brook trout. Now let's see if I can get this for Doug here. All right. Oh man, this is so weird. Before I pass the rod over. Hey Doug, before I pass it over, give me one more cast here. But man, is this a ball. This is fun. Oh, there's one. I almost fell in. Oh, good one too. 
That's a nice brook trout. We're gonna have to get him up close for the camera. Woo, nice fish. They're like a bunch of tropical fish in a school. And they are colored up like tropical fish. Holy cow, are these fish beautiful. Definitely helps to pinch your barb when you're fishing for brook trout because their mouths are small. But all right, let's see here. Here's some even light. Oh, those fins are gorgeous. Man, this is amazing. Holy cow. We're ripping them here. I'm going to pass the rod over to Doug and I'm going to grab the camera and we're going to keep ripping some brook trout. We don't lose flies. So. You know when to start approaching. All right, God, I'd stay so long. Did you miss one? stump and a real a good holding place. There he goes. Back to his lair. I have pulled that fish. You can kind of see the uh, the tree, that maple that's going across the water there. Like right underneath. I kind of threw upwards, let it drift under. Right as it was about getting some depth that fish took it. So really nice holding spot. This stream really has a lot of great, uh, great lives that hold some good fish. As we saw up there a little bit earlier, some of the real nice ones. Yeah, so right now, oh man, just missed one. But right now we're fishing kind of like a little tail out section of this pool, some riffles up at the top, a little bit of an overhang. You know what? I'm actually gonna switch flies real quick. So something to keep in mind, uh, I'm about to do a fly change right in here. And it's not necessarily because I don't have confidence in the pattern uh, and that it's, I don't think the fish want this pattern. It's just because of the weight difference. And, and that's something with brook trout, especially whenever you're tight lining that you should keep in mind um, is change those flies around just because a little heavier fly, a little lighter fly could mean all the difference on a stream that varies in depth from a fish holding in 18 inches of water to a fish holding in five feet of water. So yeah, it's a pain. Yeah, we all hate to do it. And yeah, we get lazy sometimes, but it can really mean the difference in, in catching fish and not catching fish.
little bit of a confluence right here. Little feeder stream dumping into this bigger stream. I just tossed it right up in there and he took the lively legs hairs here. There he goes. We are tearing them up this morning. Glad that we decided to go out and catch a few hours on the water before this wedding. Looks like it's time to get going. All right, so we are gonna wrap up this video. It was an awesome day. And as you can see, we are at the wedding right now. So congrats to Kate and Mike. It was a wonderful wedding, wonderful reception, and we had some wonderful fishing at the beginning of the day. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Wow. That's brutal. Well, looks like we might get swept away trying to cross.